Africa, My Africa, the poem by David Diop, who died in 1960 at 33 years. I became aware of this piece when I was a student at Federal Government College Wari in Nigeria in the 1970s. Africa, my Africa. Africa of proud warriors in ancestral savannas. Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. Your beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields. The blood of your sweat, the sweat of your work, the work of your slavery. Africa, tell me Africa, is this your back that is unbent? This back that never breaks under the weight of humiliation. This back trembling with red scars and say no to the whip under the midday sun. The grave voice answers me. Impetuous child, that tree, young and strong, that tree over there, splendidly alone amidst white and faded flowers. That is your Africa springing up anew. Springing up patiently, obstinately, whose fruit, bit by bit, acquires the bitter taste of liberty. Now, Diop belonged to an informal group of Francophone Africans that included Leopold Seda Senor, who would become Senegal's president. Their quest was known as negritude. Senor defined negritude as the sum of the cultural values of the Black world as they're expressed in the life, the institutions, and the works of Black men. Now back to the poem. Diop, through this writing, referred an Africa, which while removed from the shackles of colonialism, grew to accept a new world order. One which absorbed external influences positively, but kept the very foundations of Africanness. He was a realist, as were those who adhered to the principles of negritude. In effect, a forerunner of the more recent movement of Afropolitanism. What I love most about these ideological and intellectual movements is that they formed a good recipe for a future prosperous Africa. They continue to be even more relevant, even present. They appear to describe our situation now. Young Nigerians, please revisit the works of those freedom fighters for inspiration. Teach the meanings and messages to your people, to those in rural areas, to the uneducated, those who aspire to political careers without sound ideological foundation will do well to take a step back and learn first. Or we will continue to end up with a sort of president, legislatives, judiciary, public service, and private sectors run by half-baked professionals. We must cease to see Nigeria as a cat cow. We must approach things from an intellectually stimulating viewpoint. Of what use is education if we subvert its good qualities for stolen money? Why do we destroy educational institutions? Has the army been responsible for the failure of education in Nigeria? Can we not rise beyond this and reinstate our institutions to offer courses of global standard? What ideologies push today's Nigeria? Did we sink the moment a 32-year-old soldier was placed at the helm of affairs of this nation? I say yes. 2023 is our goal. As some prepare to demonstrate at the Lekki toll gate on Saturday, I give them my support and join in denouncing the directionless government of Major General Buhari. We need clever and intelligent people in government. We, we need, need clever, clever and intelligent people in government. <laughs> but will, will, um, are we truly ready to allow clever and intelligent people? God bless us. you, sir. We the, the people, are we, we the people, ready? are we ready? Yes, we are not. We the people. We are not they're, ready. They are not ready. Because uh, I asked uh, about too. Bobby Whiney. You're saying, <coughs> Chuka was saying, uh, young people, go and read about freedom fighters. Bobby Whiney is 38, are we? And uh, Museveni is 70, what, 77 or thereabouts. Mm. And I asked, what happened during the elections? They said there are people who are just used to the former president yeah, yeah. and they actually voted him. Because if everybody came out and voted Bobby Wine, there's no way you can rig election. No, no, but, no but you no, can't but also rule out. The incumbent president will you have can't the rule machinery. Out the powers uh -uh, an incumbent. Uh, but, but, but I think I understand what she's saying. Yes, I do. But uh, this, the country, the, the, what is the incumbent. number of the youth, youth, youth in, the youth population. In, in, in Uganda. population in Uganda? Take away Uganda. Let's look at Nigeria, where I say we are not ready. We are not ready because 
Last time we talked about Sorosuke, Sorosuke. And now Sorosuke has ended up in social media the way it started. Because, one, even if INEC opens their portal today for continuous registration, we would rather complain yeah. than go to register. Yeah. And then, or as we speak now, people are already debating Jonathan, Buhari, well, Atiku, yeah. and Erufai. We are not debating the young Outside ones. Outside those ones. Yes. Uh, and then the young people also, the ones that will uh, you know, fly the flag of some political parties, are not even ready to you know, yield the floor for their colleagues. Look at Kinsley Morgalu, Obieze, Kwesili. I'm not calling them young. I'm just saying... These are, are, they're, 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 they're 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 fresh. all of them, um, my um, uh, friend, what's his name again? All of them in the 2019 election Shawari. couldn't, could, Shawari, could not even come together to nominate one person amongst themselves. Out of 10. You know? So it, it, that's why when I look at all of this, I say, look. We're not ready. We're not ready. And then I agree with you, Chuka, that because we do not read, if we read enough, I was telling somebody, you know, just last week, that Facebook don't take our face away from book. We and, no you know, read. I remember this poem uh, particularly. In fact, when it was going to start, I remember Africa, Proud Warriors. I remember because you, you also performed this, this. you? Yeah, yeah. You performed those poems yeah. back in school then. And so it's instructive that Chuka is asking for our youths to go back to some of those poems and read, read up about Africa. We're not saying you don't know. I mean, technology has made it so accessible for our youth to do quite a lot of things. But there, is, there are some basic things that you re really, really need to know. Who is a, a leopard uh, singer? You need to know. You know. If we go and know, are we going to change Africa? Because what did because they do to make our lives better since will then? inspire you. Inspire uh, us to be like who? To, like our will inspire one. you That's to it. know That's that uh, once uh, upon uh, a time, some people also struggled. Yeah, and, they did not they, and it didn't do anything I, for I us. Saw, I no. saw a quote today. And someone, someone, someone wrote and said, um, I think his um, um, Tiwa's um, ex-husband, um, he wrote something and he said that if you are a parent and then you are trying to train uh, your child the way your parents trained you, you will totally fail. That because this generation has yeah. moved. That's people true. have moved. So you must just learn to just but, move with but the But then time. you can't move. Without, without, without the knowledge of your history. But what is government also doing for these students uh, back in school? <laughs> With your, the government, yeah, no, they do your, serve. God bless you. <laughs> no, because it's the truth. What, uh, are, they Chuka, doing, what are they doing for the students? Uh, Chuka, <laughs> with the government, they do serve. <laughs> Chuka. Are they doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, I'm not asking for people to go back and um, copy people from the past because actually I condemned everybody on the Naira notes in Nigeria, every one of them. So like um, Jumoke, don't call Awolo or near me. You'll be, you'll be making me even more angry. Uh -huh. The so thing is scary. that it is, the, it, is the, it is those that probably never even made it to power that we should listen to, those who continue to speak and write because they never tasted power, so we don't know if they would have been corrupted. Their messages are pure. Right, Jumoke will be looking at living with disabilities in Nigeria. Are we doing enough? This is after the break. Stay with us. <laughs> 